Today I will discuss a new mineral coal. After going through this chapter, you will be able to understand about the nature and origin of coal, constraints and kind of coals, coal fields and coal production, coal fields in different regions such as North America, in USA. In USA, I will discuss about Canada, Mexico. Apart from that, coal fields of Europe. In Europe, I will be discussing on United Kingdom, France, Germany, Poland, coal fields in Asia. In Asia, majorly China, India, and coal fields in South Africa, Australia, in South America. So let us start the discussion. First of all, what do you mean by coal? Coal, often called as a black gold, is the second largest source of energy, contributing 27% of the global energy production. After the gradual decline of its use, especially since World War II, during 1939 to 45, its consumption has again picked up since 1980. Yet, its relative contribution in global energy output has declined. Developing countries like India and China still fulfill nearly three-fourths of their energy requirement from coal because of its huge reserves and cheaper availability. Since 2000, use of coal increased at a rate of 2% per year. The consumption rate is highest in China, close to 24%, followed by USA, 19.8%, CIS, 12%, and Europe, approximately 10%. Contrary to popular belief that international trade of coal is now declining, it has practically increased 60% since 1980. The major exporters include Australia, USA, South Africa, Poland, etc. So let me explain a little bit about nature and origin of coal. Coal, petroleum and natural gases are termed as fossil fuels as these are derived from the fossils of the dead plants and organisms. Coal is found in the sedimentary rocks of the earth's surface. It is solid amorphous substance varying in color from brownish to jet black. It was formed by partial decomposition of vast quantities of vegetable matter laid down in bogs and swamps millions of years ago. Later, mud and sand were deposited and hardened. The processes of decay of vegetable matter were slow as little oxygen could penetrate it. Thus, peat was formed. The change from peat to coal was brought about by the peat being buried by clays, silt, sands and muds. And the pressure of these overlaying material compacting the peat and furthering certain chemical changes. Peat is a fibrous brownish substance formed by partly decayed organic remains in swamps and bogs. It represents the first stage of coal formation and varies considerably in extent and thickness. Peat is being formed at present day in many places. It has a high percentage of moisture and volatile matter and carbon only constitutes about one third of its bulk. The second type of coal is known as lignite or brown coal. Lignite is usually regarded as the second stage of coal formation after peat. It is soft and still retains much of its brownish woody appearances, but it more compact than peat. Its moisture content is high over 35%, so that it gives out much smoke but little heat. It lacks, uh, for example, breaks up easily when exposed to air and this renders transshipment difficult. For this reason, lignite is seldom used outside its area of production. The third type of coal is known as bituminous coal. The hard, black, compact bituminous coal makes up almost 80% of the world's total coal output. It varies greatly in composition, in carbon content from 40% to 80%, and in moisture and volatile content from 15% to 40% so that it is often subdivided into several minor divisions such as subbituminous, 
the poorer types I can say and bituminous coals. The most important of the various grades of the bituminous coal are noted for their particular application. The fourth type is known as anthracite. This is the hardest and ranks highest amongst the coal. It is shiny and lustrous, almost jet black and is so completely compressed that it shows no banded structure. It has a carbon content of almost 95% with practically no volatile material. It does not ignite easily, but once lighted it, it, it gives out a great heat, burning with a bright blue flame. It burns for a long time and leaves very little ashes behind. The fifth you may be aware of graphite. This probably represents the ultimate stage in the carbonization of vegetation remains. Its carbon content is even higher than that of anthracite coal being almost 99%. Graphite sometimes called as black lead must have been subjected to very great pressure and heat to attain its present state. Unlike other carbonaceous rocks, graphite is never used as a fuel but utilized in other spheres, for example in pencil making or the manufacture of crucibles and types of metals. The major coal producing countries in the world in uh, descending orders are China, USA, India, Australia, South Africa, Russia, Indonesia, Poland, Kazakhstan and Ukraine. Now let me explain you coal fields in North America. The United States of America accounts for 18.2% of the world's output. It has nearly one third of the world's coal reserves. Coal is widely distributed in the USA and is mined in 26 states. Most of the reserves, I can say 60% occurs west in Mississippi River, but two-thirds of this coal is inferior in nature. The states east of the Mississippi River with only 40% of the nation's coal reserves have more than 80% of the anthracite and semi-anthracite and they produce 90% of the country's output. The principal coal fields of the USA occur in uh, different regions, such as the first in this connection is the Appalachian region. The first in this connection is the Appalachian region. This region extends from Pennsylvania to Alabama and yield about half the country's total output. The coal of this region is good bituminous quality. Cheap river transport facilitate coal mining in this region. Modern mechanized methods of coal mining are extensively employed. And consequently, the cost of coal mining is very low. This region has three major subfields. First is Western Pennsylvania, also known as Pittsburgh region, extends from Ohio to Pennsylvania. The second one is Middle Appalachian field. It is located south of the Pittsburgh region and extend over West Virginia. Kentucky and Tennessee mining is thoroughly mechanized here as horizontal coal seams are easy to mine. The third region in USA uh, is the South Appalachian field. It stretches over Alabama and the Tennessee. These areas has a good system of road, ra railroads, rivers and canals uh, facilitating the distribution of coal throughout the southeastern states. The second major region is known as interior region. It stretches over western Kentucky and Illinois and mines nearly 20% of the country's coal. This coal does not make a high quality coke and needs to be mixed up with Appalachian coal for cooking. The third major region is known as the Rocky Mountain Field. It extends over Montana, Wyoming, Colorado and New Mexico states. The coal is mostly bituminous and lignite. Nevertheless, it is significant for processing metallic ores, manufacturing, heating homes and for thermal plants. The fourth major region is known as Pacific region. Minor fields occur here mainly in Alaska. They have been little developed because of high mining and transportation cost. Now let me explain your status in Canada. Canada accounts for barely 1.5% of the world's output. Workable reserves consist largely of lignite and bituminous. Now, 
Scotia mines about two fifth of the country's total and New Brunswick nearly 10 percent. On Cape Breton Island, mainly seams of high grade bituminous occur, but they lie at great depth and require shaft tunnel mining. Therefore, mining costs are very high. The coal mined here is meant for local consumption and for shipment to the manufacturing region of Quebec and Ontario. Now you may be thinking about Mexico. Some coal is mined in Sabina's field of North Mexico, but it is insignificant from the world point of view. Now let me explain you coal fields of Europe. Europe mines two-third of bituminous and one-third of lignite of the world. Russia, Poland, UK, Germany, Spain and Romania are the main European coal producers. In USSR in 1958 surpassed the USA as the largest coal producer and remained so until its disintegration up to 1991. Its major constraints Russia now produces 15.2% of the world coal. Nearly 90% of the coal reserves of Soviet Union are in Asiatic part, while most of the production comes from European part and from Central Asia. Nearly 75% of the country's population and manufacturing is concentrated in European part and in Ural region. Though transportation of coal from Karagonda and Kuzbak region to Moscow and Ural region involves heavy expanses yet it is unavoidable. After USSR, let us discuss about United Kingdom. Coal was the basis for industrialization of England during the 19th century. The coal fields of UK are small and scattered and coal beds are thin and dip at angle and are broken by several faults. Yet, the seams have several advantages too. For example, schools are bituminous and semi-anthracite. These are excellent for cooking, steaming and heating and for industrial raw material. The coal fields in UK are mainly the uh, penny groups. Coal fields occur as on both the slopes of the pennies. Northumberland, Durham fields, Yorkshire, Nottinghamshire and in the east and Cumberland and in Lancashire in the west. You may be aware of the York Derby region in Nottinghamshire. This Nottinghamshire coal fields is the largest in England accounting for 33% of the Britain total coal. The coal mine here is used in locomotives, heating and in iron and steel industry. Nathamberland Durham coal feed seals good quality coal. The Cleveland iron ore mines are located nearby. Coal is exported from Newcastle. Midland coal fields. These mines are deep here. Coal is used as Birmingham. The another region is known as Staffordshire. This is located the western slopes of the Pennancy. Coal is here mainly used for pottery. Another region is known as Warwickshire coal fields. The bituminous coal of this region is used in the conventory manufacturing region. Another group are known as the Wales group. Anthracite and bituminous coal produced here is mostly exported. Bristol coal fields. These coal is used for the manufacture of iron ore, shipbuilding and engineering industries. You may be aware of Cumberland coal fields. You should also see these regions uh, in the map. It is located on the west coast manufacturing industries, including shipbuilding. Apart from that, Kent coal field in US is a small coal field located southeast of the London. Now, let me explain you about France. The famous coal belt of Europe extends from France through Belgium and Netherlands to Germany. 
In France, cold occur in four major areas. First is Nord, second is Pass de Calais, third is known as Lorraine, and the fourth is known as Le Crissot and Saint Antony. Major iron and steel plants are engineering industries are located in these coal fields. France has to import coal from Germany to meet domestic requirements. In Germany, before the World War II, there, there were four major coal fields. They were divided into Ruhr, Saar, Saxony and Silesia. After the defeat of Germany and its division, some areas of Saar coal had to be conceded to France. The huge lignite producing coal fields of Saxony came in the possession of East Germany. Silesia coal fields were shared by Poland and Czechoslovakia. The unification of Germany in 1990 proved beneficial for the country till several ways. The Ruhr region of Germany is an important principal coal mining and st steel manufacturing region of the world. The region has huge coal deposits and is contributes three-fourths of the national output. The coal is of good cooking quality. The 65 kilometer long and 16 kilometer wet coal belt extend in the east and west of the Rohar region. Several mines are located in this region. Second, as I mentioned, the Saar region reincorporated into Germany in 1957 and Ashin are the other ore fields which have bituminous coal. The third uh, coal fields, as I mentioned, Saxony coal fields, lies in East Germany. Major mines are located at Hele, uh, Magdeburg, and Leipzig. Now, after this, let me explain you the status of coal fields in Poland. The Upper Silesia coal fields rank next only to the Ruhr region of Germany in output. The seams are thick and lie at relatively shallow depths and there has been little folding and faulting. All these factors make mining easier than in Ruhr, but most of the coal is non-cooking. Major production comes from Dombra and Krokuk in eastern part of the Upper Silesia. Anthracite is mined in Walbriz district and lignite is order basin. Coal fields in Asia. Southern and Eastern Asia mines about one third of the world's coal. The greater part comes from China, India and Japan. In China, Coal reserves largest in the Far East and among the largest in the world consist of some anthracite, much high grade bituminous and considerable sub-bituminous and lignite. The major areas of coal production in China are Xinjiang, Sichuan, Hupei, Hunan, Jiangxi and Manchuria. Fushun deposits near Mukden, Manchuria have the world's thickest swam of bituminous coal. In most cases, the coal deposits are relatively far from water transportation and from centers of population and industry. But most of the important cooking coal lies near deposits of iron ore, although some mines such as those of Manchuria and highly mechanized, the general lack of mechanization leads to high cost of production deposits despite cheap labor. Now let me explain you the condition in India. In terms of reserves and quality, India is better off than Japan. The deposits mostly bituminous occurs in number of provinces such as Jharkhand, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. In five river basin known as Damodar Valley, Son Valley, Mahanadi, Godavari and Kana Valley and the Pench Valley too. The coal production is very high. Tamil Nadu has lignite deposits, one of the largest in the world. 
but with very low heating value. Though most of the coal in India is bituminous in nature, it has high content of ash, hence unfit for cooking purpose. India accounts for 4% of the world's output. Four states, as I explained earlier also, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh, these accounts for more than 95% of the national output. Now, after explaining the status in India, let me explain about uh, the status in South Africa. It accounts for nearly 4% of the world's total output. Transvaal, more than half, Natal are the major coal producing areas in uh, Africa. Orange Free State contribute the rem remainder. Most of the South Africa coal is of low grade, which is unfit for cooking. But mines of Middleburg, Whitbank and Wiringing have some metallurgical coal. Wenki in Rhodesia, Ingu in Nigeria and in Algeria. These are the other coal producing areas in Africa. Compared to Africa in Australia, coal occurs in three major regions. The first in the eastern part of New South Wales has large and accessible deposits of high-grade bituminous coal. In Queensland, large deposit occurs in Mackenzie, Davison River Basin. In Victoria and South Australia, lignite is mined by stripping and used in thermal plants, industries and for domestic heating. Australia produces nearly 4% of the world's coal. And at the end, let me explain a bit about South America. Colombia, Brazil, Chile, Argentina, Peru and Venezuela is the descending order that are engaged in coal mining in this continent. Nearly all the output is of medium grade bituminous mined underground. The chapter has elaborated in detail about the basic constraints of coal and its distribution. Coal's worldwide presence and its production signifies its importance in the development of civilization on this earth.